On the front derailleur, we'll shift to the number one position and go through the same process of pulling off the handlebar grip, taking apart the grip shift, replacing the housing and cable just as we did previously, although the final adjustments to the front derailleur will be different. Before working with the derailleur cable, make sure when you push on the front derailleur, the outer plate is perfectly lined up with the large chain ring and the end is not pointed in or outward. Also, the outer plate should clear the large chain ring by about two millimeters or so. We'll now need to adjust the inner and outer limiting screws such that we can get the best shifting but without rub against the inner or outer plate of the derailleur. Let's go ahead and install our front derailleur cable. We're not going to pull it tight. We'll leave it a little bit lax and tighten the bolt down. At the shift handle for the front derailleur, we'll go ahead and turn the barrel adjuster all the way in, and then we'll turn it out several turns. Shift to the smallest chain ring and the largest cog. Now if you're not sure which one, which limiting screw controls the inner plate, just try each one. This one is marked and it says low for the lowest gear of the inner plate. We're going to, we can see there's a big gap here. We'd like that gap to be as little as possible and this inner plate to be as close to the chain as possible without rubbing. So we're going to turn clockwise the inner limiting screw till it's several millimeters away and try it. Let's turn it a little bit more. Keep turning it until we get some rub and then back off a little bit. Perfect. Now we'll go ahead and shift to the smallest cog in the back and try to shift then to the largest chain ring. First to the smallest cog. All right. We will try then to shift to the largest chain ring. Doesn't quite make it. So let's loosen the outer limiting screw a little bit. Now it makes it. Let's loosen it a little bit more and then we'll tighten it till we get just a little bit of chain rub and then back off about a quarter of a turn. Let's go ahead and see how we've done. We'll shift from the large chain ring to the middle and to the small chain ring. For more detailed information on setting the front uh, derailleur, see our expert Calvin Jones from Park Tools in the reference up in the right hand corner. Now we're set to go ahead and cut our cable and put a end cap on the cable so it doesn't fray. Now all we need to do is replace this seat with a new seat and seat post. We measured the seat post to make sure it fits. Line it up. And the only things we'll be left to do is adjust the angle and height of the seat for the rider and then take it out the road.